Hello guys, this is the Epiphany. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how recycling resources for nuggets works, as well as how you can make profit out of it. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to draw your attention to a video that's been made by a fellow YouTuber, name is Benjamite Gaming. And a lot of my subscribers who are also subscribed to Benjamite have pointed out this video to me and told me to make my own karma's making guide. And the simple answer to that is no, because if I reveal how I make karmas, then the methods will no longer be effective because everyone's going to copy it. And with regards to this video from Benjamite, I can actually say that I use none of these methods in this video to make karmas because I have my own ways. And one of the ways is actually what I'm going to be explaining in this video which is recycling resources for nuggets and then making nuggets into other things and yeah um, i'm going to be linking this video in the description box below in case you want to check it out for ways of making karmas but uh in terms of the way i make karmas here is one of the ways okay so in order to recycle resources you need three things in total the first thing is a type of recycler the second thing is a prism and the third thing is the, the resource that you're going to recycle of course now starting off with the basics the recyclers can be purchased or crafted by handymen and there are three types of recyclers a fair trade a collective and a cococo and as simple as it is the Cococo and the Collective Recycler is not worth it. And I'll explain to you why uh, later on. I'm just going to buy one of these two for now because uh, it might come in handy. Uh, so the Fair Trade Recycler is the one that you want to be using. And it costs around 700000 And I've got actually uh, three of them right now. So I'll be using them for this video. So once you have your Fair Trade Recyclers, you need to get some resources to recycle so i'll explain how that works next in order to maximize your profit the resource that you recycle should be from a from a particular area where the area has a prism so what i mean by this is if you see treacherous bark it is dropped by the treacherous monster which can be found in petrified forest as well as the coriander dungeon so this prism at this area petrified forest will have the maximum profit because the resource you're trying to recycle is from this area so as i mentioned before with regards to the recyclers anybody has the ability to press manage modules and then double click the fair trade recycler to add it into the prism close it and then now when you right click the prism oh sorry left click the prism you can see that there's a recycle option now now I need to mention that it is imperative that you should get somebody who has the right place or change in alliance prism because if you do not have this right and you add the recycler to the prism you will not be able to remove the recycler so it gets stuck in there. So try to ask somebody who has the right to manage and modify prisms to do this for you. So when they add the recycler for you, you click the prism and then you press recycle. So let's have a look here. If we add in a resource here, what it tells you is the average price of the resources on the left here the percent bonus and the, the bonus should be a hundred percent for petrified forest because this item is from petrified forest and how many nuggets it will generate so it is a decimal 1.17 which i'm pretty sure gets rounded down to one so you'll be getting one nugget for this and then it tells you the average price of nuggets you'll be getting so the fair trade recycler, uh, the reason why I said that it was the most appropriate one is because 50% of the nuggets goes to you and 50% goes to the Alliance. 
So I'll explain more about the 50% for the Alliance later on. But, um, so, okay, so let's add some more of these in. If I have 10 treachers barked there, I'm destroying 3,170 karmas worth of resources. And I'm gaining 4,265 worth of nuggets. So this is profitable, but not that much. If we continue, let's have a look at Treacherous Root. Treacherous Root has an average price 4,186, but it only generates 3,412 karmas worth of nuggets. So this item is not profitable to recycle. Let's have a look at something else such as Circular Pendicle. Uh, let's see, we add one of them in. 1,945 average and will generate 3,412 karma's worth of nuggets. So yes, that is profitable. And the more you add in, you know, like the profit maintains because the rate doesn't change, you know. So you'll be getting more and more profit. Now, something I need to mention is that a particular m monster uh, such as Coriander which can be found inside the dungeon of this area only, but not outside in the petrified forest area. You need to be careful with the recycling uh, for that, because most of the time it will be a loss. As you can see, coriander foot here, you're losing karmas. If you put more coriander foot in, you're losing more karmas. If the bonus is 100%. Oh, okay, coriander eye we will be making a small profit as you can see but such a small profit i probably do not recommend you recycle these items either um yeah so just be careful you know you just have to experiment i guess there's no way of guessing whether you'll be making a profit or not unless you actually try it out yourself so yeah, that's for Petrified Forest. As you can see, any resource that belongs to this area is 100% bonus because this is the only prism and the only area that contains the monsters which drop these resources. Okay, so that's that. And let me get on to the next stage, which is about the other two recyclers. So if I was to add in a, okay, so let's do the Cococo Recycler first, which is the smallest one. And we recycle here. I will add in this stuff. What you will see is that the character will be earning less percentage compared to the Alliance. And the Alliance is earning more of the nuggets uh, like, like that, okay? So that's why Kokoko is not really effective. And I'll show you with I'll show you with the other recycler as well, which is collective. Okay, so add that in, recycle. Now it's 46% for the character, 58% for the alliance. This number is actually influenced by the other uh, the other prisms and whether they have recycler modules in them or not. So as you can see here, fair trade recycler, uh, my alliance actually has a couple of prisms that have a fair trade recycler in them right now. But let's just assume that none of these prisms had a fair trade recycler. So this petrified forest prism having a collective recycler only it's going to actually be something like 30% to the character and 70% to the alliance because the fact that the other prisms have fair trade recyclers in them, the, the, the percentage is kind of like skewed towards the, the, the mid range, which is the 50, 50 distribution. So, you know, having a Cococo or a collective recycler will pretty much negatively impact that so in a nutshell do not use a collective or a cococo recycler at all okay only focus on fair trade recycler okay that's all i'll be talking about for collective and cococo okay so once we have understood 
how the basics of recycling worked at the petrified forest prism i'm going to go on to something that is a little bit more advanced and basically the situation requires uh, a bit more knowledge okay so i'm at the fungus domain prism uh, area which is uh, right here and my alliance owns the prism so let's manage modules and i will add in a fair trade recycler now right click and click recycle so if you are inexperienced with you know like what resources come from this area a way to test it would be to place a perceptor and when the perceptor fills up collect it and see what it drops so as you can see hemp fiber mush knit bark trump or trunk blah 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 so on and a barrel of tasty juice so these six resources are what drops from the fungus domain so i will be recycling them now okay let's start with the hemp fiber mush knit bark mishmash eye mushroom slobber and trompel trunk okay the first thing you'll notice here is that some of these are a hundred percent bonus and some are 50 percent bonus and lastly if i add in the barrel of tasty juice it will actually be only four percent bonus and you might be thinking why is that when i've clearly just said it before at the petrified forest prism that if a resource is dropped from a monster in this area then the prism should have a max bonus well the reason for that is because the hemp fiber mishmish eye and mushroom slobber and barrel of tasty juice this area the fungus domain is not the only area in dofus that drops these resources can you think of any other areas in dofus that will also drop hemp fibers mish mushmish eye and mushroom slobber yep you guessed it it's the fungus cavern so the fungus cavern is the area that is actually right near here so the next important bit of information i'm going to tell you is that you need to have multiple recyclers and when you have multiple recyclers you need to place the recyclers in all the relevant prisms that drop the resources so the fungus cavern let's add in the fair trade recycler like this and then now we have a recycler in the fungus cavern prism as well as the fungus domain prism from before so now if we press recycle here you will notice that every single resource is a hundred percent and as you can see here the amount of nuggets uh, karma's worth of nuggets generated is more than before when some of these were 50 percent I believe the uh, the karmas was about 250,000 or something. Now, lastly, if we add in barrel of tasty juice, it will be seven percent. And as you noticed before, when we had only one recycler in the prism, it was four percent. But the reason for this is because there are many, many other places in Dofus that can drop barrel of tasty juice and since you know it's worth barely anything there's really no point in adding like 15 or 20 recyclers into all the prisms that exist that uh, that belong to the area to drop barrel of tasty juice just to get this up to 100 percent it's really not worth it keeping in mind that if you have multiple recyclers you have to be paying for multiple recyclers as well so yeah okay so now that these are all 100 percent what happens when we press recycle is that i'm going to gain 837 nuggets for myself which will go into my inventory and 837 nuggets will be distributed to my alliance prisms because uh, that's technically what it means 50 percent for character 50 percent for alliance that's the whole purpose of a fair trade recycler there is no way of increasing this percent for the character up because 50% is the max. Now, next bit of information that's worth knowing is w when it says 837 to the Alliance Prisms, 
it doesn't mean it will go to just this prism so if we have a look at all the prisms that my lines has uh, we have a total of 72 prisms but let's just assume we have 50 prisms so this 837 will be divided by 50 and I think that's equal to uh, 16 or 17 or something so that means each of the 50 prisms that we theoretically have will be gaining 16 or 17 nuggets each so as you can see these prisms here that have this many nuggets have taken a very long time to get, get up to this much and another thing I want to mention is that when the nuggets are distributed to the alliance prisms it depends on the zone level so the the level 200 area prisms will be gaining the most nuggets and the lower level prisms will be not gaining much at all compared to them because uh, the system prioritizes distributing prisms are oh, sorry distributing nuggets to the prisms that have the highest level so let's recycle now okay so i received 837 nuggets and 837 were redistributed to your alliance prisms so after you're done recycling make sure you take out your recycler and i'm also going to go to the other one which is um what was it again our oh, fungus domain yeah collect that okay so i hope that makes sense for you uh i'm just going to do one more section for this video which is uh, a bit more advanced okay so the last particular area uh, i'm just going to go to the depths of sufokia which is right google plateau and I'm going to show you a bit about recycling here. So add the fair trade recycler. Uh, press recycle. And let's have a look here. So let's uh, chuck in an angler stone. You will see that the bonus is only 25%. So at this rate, it is a small loss in terms of uh, resource price and amount of nuggets you generate it is a small loss that's 25 percent let's chuck in deep one tentacle now let's have a look there you see the bonus is 33 percent and that is also a slight loss so we chuck in spookoff eye that is a huge loss because spookoff eye is worth a lot and the fact that we have kutulu's temple here if we chuck in a Kutulu Lava Wing, it is 33% bonus as well. And that is a huge loss, massive loss. So I would never recycle this because this resource is you know, used in a ton of level 200 items. So I would never recycle a Kutulu Lava Wing. Okay. So another thing is SKT ZO Leg. Zero bonus. Keeping in mind that this SKT ZO monster can be uh, fought in the Kutulu dungeon, but the bonus is 0%. Okay, so keeping that in mind, let's go to the next Raigugu area, which is uh, Raigugu Pit, I'm pretty sure. Now, uh, in order to get to this area here, you need to have exploration equipment and that exploration equipment I'm pretty sure is the fear catcher it allows you to go to right Google pit and later on I'm going to go to one more deeper level which is uh, The right Google abyss and you need a Snedden statuette for that Okay, so I manage modules here and I'll add in a Fair trade recycler. Let's go recycle and let's add in the resources. Now, angler stone, you can see that the bonus has gone up to 50% compared to it being 25% before, 
because we now have two recyclers in two prisms where this resource can drop. Yep. Okay, let's have a look at Deep One Tentacle. That has gone up to 67% compared to the 33% we had before because now we're in two out of three possible places that this can drop. Uh, spook off eye that has also gone up to 67% but it is still a loss the last thing we have I believe is called Nylagi tentacle yep that is also gone up to 67% but it is still a bit of a loss okay so uh, whoops uh, let's teleport to the next area which is right Google abyss Okay, so you need a Snedden statuette in order to get to this area. Manage modules here. And we will add a fair trade recycler. Okay, let's recycle. And let's have a look. Now like a tentacle, it's gone up to 100%, but it's still a slight loss. So there's no point in recycling. Spook off eye, still a loss because this resource is worth a lot. Angler stone, it's profitable, 75% bonus. The fact that it's 75% and we have placed a recycler in three prisms leads me to think that this resource can be dropped from a fourth area. But I have no idea what that fourth area is. Okay. Adds SKT Zero Leg. It is a hundred percent bonus, but it's only seven thirty-five karma's worth of nuggets. SKT Zero Leg is worth a lot because it is required for some very nice crafts such as unnameable boots and indescribable cape. Very important items at level two hundred, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, deep one. This has gone up to a hundred percent as well. Okay, so once you have your nuggets, I'm going to teach you what is the best way to turn your nuggets into karmas. And I'm going to acknowledge the fact that if I do this, then the if, if I do this, then it, it's going to, you know, affect the way I make karmas because a lot of people will be doing this but I don't mind because I still have many other ways to make karmas. Okay, so let's have a look here. You buy one nugget. Let's say that costs around 35,000 karmas for 100, okay? So 35,000 for 100, so that's 350 karmas each. Now, you're not going to be selling nuggets in the market like this. That's ridiculous. You know, you're not gonna be selling in lots of 100 because just a bit of a flex for you. I actually have like more than 100,000 nuggets. So I'm not going to be putting them up in the market a thousand times because that's going to take forever. The best way to make karmas using nuggets is to craft them into a certain object. And I will show you the calculation for that and why it's profitable. So let's go to Smith Meiji Workshop. and we are going to look at Smith Magic Orb. So as you can see here, Masterly New Leaf Orb. Okay, let's open up this calculator. As you remember, one nugget, uh, according to the market rate, is 350 karmas, uh, as I said, and it costs 500 nuggets to craft one Masterly New Leaf Orb. So we're going to do 350 karmas multiplied by 500. And that'll equal to 175,000 karmas. Now, if you have 5,000 nuggets, then you can make 10 orbs. And if we multiply this value here by 10, that'll equal 1.75 million karmas. But if you notice in the market here, when they sell it for 10 lots, lots of 10, it actually costs 1.85 million. So by doing this, you'll be making a 100,000 karma profit with the nuggets. 
it is not recommended that you put the orbs in lots of a hundred because people who mage and need orbs they're not going to buy lots of a hundred lots of 10 is the most profitable way to do it another thing i want to mention is you might be thinking that a hundred thousand karmas is not much profit however you are forgetting the fact that you already made profit when you destroyed your resources by recycling like before at the fungus cavern uh, as you saw my resources cost around 200,000 karmas but I got 300,000 karmas worth nuggets back so you know just try your best and aim to get five uh, 5,000 nuggets so that you can craft 10 masterly new leaf orbs which is made by level 200 miner I can craft it for you for free uh, that's a promise because that comes with this video so if you want me to craft then let me know and I'll craft it for free for you you don't have to pay me put a summary after this video uh, if you have any questions please let me know and I'll be sure to answer it but that's one way I make karmas in dofus all right see you guys the epiphany out